And good evening, hello. Once again, it is I, Baldy and Chief David Reimer with the Texas Storm Chasers on the 10th of November, 2021, 5, 21 p.m. on this Wednesday evening. Sunset occurring in the next few minutes, thanks to our time change. And once you know it, we're not talking about snow. We're not talking about any sort of fun winter mischief. We're talking about a different kind of falling ice this evening. And that's going to be known as hailstones, unfortunately. Now, let's go over what we have going on right now, and more importantly, we'll talk about what is going on later this evening and during the overnight hours. First off, for a majority of folks, we're quiet right now. We have a line of showers and thunderstorms from near Bonham down to coming up on Farmersville in eastern Collin County into eastern Dallas County, Rockwall, down to Lancaster. Those are not severe thunderstorms. Those are some showers couple of thunderstorms, cloud-to-ground lightning strikes, maybe some tiny hail, but that's not severe. That's not a problem. Cell firing up northwest of Wichita Falls, that's a problem. And the purple-shaded little severe potential blinky box of doom you see on the screen, that is a mesoscale discussion from the Storm Prediction Center. And that means, well, essentially, a severe weather watch is likely to be issued shortly for Texoma and North Texas usually read the direct mesoscale discussion text on live streams, but it just does. We'll chat real quick. Uh, the probability of a severe weather watch being issued shortly is 80%, so yeah, it's going to happen. Uh, summary. Storms capable of damaging hail, strong gusts, and perhaps a brief tornado are expected to impact parts of North Texas this evening. Discussion. that's going to be... A Surface analysis shows a cold front from central Oklahoma to northwest Texas, with a dry line from near Wichita Falls extending southwestward toward San Angelo. Dew points are only in the 55 to 60 degree range, which isn't particularly impressive by any stretch of the imagination when we get in the 65 to 70 degree dew point range. That's when we have some uh, problems. Uh, but temperatures aloft are quite cold, which is offsetting some of the weaker low-level thermodynamics, the lower moisture values, uh, what would typically be weaker low-level instability that's being offset by very cold temperatures aloft. So even though it's not necessarily all that unstable near the surface, uh, we, with the super cold temperatures aloft, it's actually still pretty unstable aloft. So, um... Uh, Visible imagery shows towering cumulus near the cold front dry line intersection approaching Wichita Falls. And since this discussion was wrote a few minutes ago, we actually already have a supercell thunderstorm uh, north of Electra. We'll talk about in a moment. Uh, with storms forecast to progress uh, east southeastward through the evening. Uh, lengthening hodographs, which is just a indication of the amount of wind shear aloft, as well as steep lapse rates aloft. Uh, with 500 millibar temperatures, which is about 18,500 feet above the surface, near 17 degree or minus 17 degrees Celsius, suggests damaging hail will be possible as storms move east southeast along and south of the Red River. A brief tornado may occur as well, but the primary issue this evening is clearly going to be the threat for damaging hail. What do we mean by damaging hail? Well, let's be perfectly clear: not all storms are going to be super oompy. Doompy in the hail department. Yeah, I made up a word. Sorry. Deal with it. Uh, but the most intense storms this evening, such as the supercell thunderstorm northwest of Wichita Falls or other supercellular thunderstorms we see over the next few hours, could produce hail up to the size of baseballs. Not great. And considering we're also talking about the DFW Metroplex, it's also not great because, well, let's be honest, anytime we have a baseball size hailstorm within 30 miles of the Metroplex, it usually involves a billion dollar insurance claim mishap afterwards. So, all right. With that being said, let's talk about what we have going on right now. Timeline first thunderstorms of the evening are developing now, one north of Bowie. A uh, severe thunderstorm just northeast of Electra. In fact, this thing's gone from nothing to super duper happy in a very short amount of time. We've already had egg size hail, that's two inches in diameter reported, just northeast of Electra uh, about 15 minutes ago on Highway 240. This thunderstorm is generally moving east-southeast towards Iowa Park and at least the west side of Wichita Falls. 
Uh, if the storm turns a little more right, it'll likely end up being an issue for west side of Wichita Falls and Iowa Park. If this storm continues on the present track, track whatever, that this white box arrow thing shows, uh, it could be more of a direct issue for uh, Shepard Air Force Base and Wichita Falls. Again, this is a thunderstorm now with a history of producing hail larger than the size of golf balls. And if the thunderstorm itself intensifies further, it is entirely possible it produces baseball-sized hail within the next hour. Or so, uh, Iowa Park, Wichita Falls, Shepard Air Force Base, you're going to want to keep a close eye on this storm and go ahead and probably start moving your vehicles to a uh, hail-safe location. Uh, Burke Burnett, we know you, this storm will hopefully pass a bit to your southwest, but don't worry, we don't want you to miss out. You have storms to your northwest you're going to need to watch too. So that is what we are expecting over the next, well, hour. Let me press a couple of different buttons real quick and I'll show you the latest simulated weather model radar through this evening. Now I just have to press a couple buttons on my end, so I'm going to keep talking and stalling because that's what fun people do. And by the way, you can keep an eye on all the storms this evening using our free interactive weather radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar or in our free mobile app. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to load the latest high resolution rapid refresh model. This is going to be at about, well, I have to fix the timestamp. My apologies. Do, 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 do. That should be better. Okay, so this is what the model thinks is going to be happening at um, about 6 to 7 p.m. Now, obviously, timing-wise is off, but uh, you can see we're expecting storms to develop further south of the Red River this evening, move southeast into the Metroplex. Uh, we do know tail end Charlie Supercell and this her run is uh, problematic in the hail department uh, as it moves into DFW around 9 to 10 p.m. This is, would be about 10 to 11 p.m. 11 to 12 p.m. You can see we still have a nasty little hail course showing up between Terrell and Kaufman. And then a line of strong to severe storms with a threat for some damaging straight line winds into northeast Texas. So that's what we're expecting over the next few hours. Not all of these storms are going to be severe, but we are probably going to be dealing with some severe weather problems over the next few hours. Tornado threat is low. Can't rule out a brief tornado or two. I think the biggest problem is going to be damaging hail with the most intense storms. Again, most intense storms this evening that move southeast from southern Oklahoma, northwest Texas, Wichita Falls, Ardmore, southeast into the metroplex, northeast Texas. The most intense storms could produce damaging hail up to the size of baseballs, damaging straight line winds of 60 to 70 miles per hour, and there is a low risk for a brief tornado. But obviously, I think the hail is going to be the uh, primary issue. So with that being said, we'll likely see a severe weather watch issued for North Texas, including all of the Metroplex, Sherman, Denison, probably over to Tyler, uh, Sulphur Springs, Paris, over the next hour or two. And we are going to have to keep an eye on these storms carefully. But otherwise, we're just going to have to keep an eye on the sky. We are expecting things to get a bit busy, but for now, we're in the initial development phases, as we always seem to be this fall. Seems to be the uh, name of the game. Storms start getting rowdy right around sunset, and then we get much more active in the hours following sunset into the early evening hours. So I'm David Reimer at the Texas Storm Chasers. Uh, we'll keep an eye on things here again. Burke Burnett, you're playing with luck right now. You've got a hailer to your north crossing over I-44 uh, near Randlett, Highway 70, where the Loves is there at about mile marker 5 on the southeast side of uh, 44 and 70 there. Then we have another storm with a history of producing hail larger than the size of baseballs now several miles northeast of Electra, moving essentially at this point right towards the city of Wichita Falls. So Shepard Air Force Base, the city of Wichita Falls, Iowa Park, prepare for a damaging hailstorm over the next 45 to 60 minutes. This storm that is near Randlett right now could impact Highway 79 northeast of Wichita Falls from near Petrolia to Byers. 
Same threat for damaging hail over the next 45 to 60 minutes. These storms will continue moving southeast over the next several hours towards the north and northwestern DFW Metroplex. So we'll keep an eye on things. We'll be doing severe weather coverage as needed. And of course, we'll have Storm Chasers out and about with live streaming video on our website and our YouTube channel. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers. And severe weather coverage will be on all of our digital media platforms, including our weather app and our website. So TexasStormChasers.com slash radar for high def radar and our website and mobile app for live videos as well. So I'm with I'm David Reimer with the Texas Storm Chasers. I forgot how to talk. But we'll be back here with a severe weather update, likely around 6 p.m. Sooner if needed, DFW Metroplex, keep an eye on the storms to the northwest. They're going to be coming to pay you all a visit here in the next three to four hours. Strongest could have damaging hail. We'll keep an eye on things here at the Texas Storm Chasers.